Good evening, everyone. Happy Saturday. We're doing another full case break of the brand new 2018 Panini Luminance Football. Pick your team number two from jazbeeshobbyland.com. A big, big thank you to these folks right here. Good luck, everybody. Who had last spot? Oh, Robert Rincon with the Panthers had last spot mojo. All right. Good luck, folks. It's been a good Saturday. Been breaking a lot of fun one box breaks, and now we're getting to some of the heftier stuff here. This break is a little bit on the longer side, but a lot of eye candy in this break, so. Kind of in a weird time of a weird time for sports, boys and girls, because no more no more Stanley Cup playoffs, uh, NBA playoffs. That exhibition series, the NBA Finals are now over. World Cup's not until next Thursday, so what are we gonna do? I, we got I got I love baseball. I got baseball. I'm doing pretty well on my picks today. Thanks X Line. I got some nice picks today. You can join the stream. I'll, I'll give you a link to my picks. Um, I, that's right, Eric James. Now, now I can afford to buy an extra large, a vente cup of Starbucks coffee with the pennies that I have won. So, uh, the Yankees win this one. They're, the Mets are down to their final out. I think I'll uh, I'll have won four out of five of my games, and I've got one more to go. If I win. Five out of six, I'll be a genius. I'll just quit my job and move to Vegas and become a sharp. Become a pro better. Still a square, folks. For entertainment purposes only. All right. Oh, we have, what, U.S. Open next week? There's Arden Key for the Raiders and Billy Price. 173 out of 299. Um, because, do we have enough of this? We should have enough. Uh, by the way, because I like you guys, I've been, uh, I've been marking down on this luminance that I don't, I think it, I think vet base is not supposed to ship here, but it doesn't say, I think we're shipping everything. So I've, I've been reminding the shipping team to ship everything. So, terms and conditions may change without notice, ladies and gentlemen. So, take advantage of it while you can. All right. So, oh, sorry. Let me look up that Billy Price really quick. I don't know where he goes off the top of my head. Billy Price goes to the Bengals. We're on to Cincinnati. So, that'll go to the Bengals. That'll be for Jerry Bennington. And the Eric Berry autograph. 67, I thought it was just going to be a relic. That goes to the X-Line, I think. Yeah, Josh. There you go, Josh X-Line. All right, we got Max Brown. Pitt Panthers, Max Brown, 57 out of 99. Is that your first Eric Berry auto? Nice. You know what, X-Line? I, I have to admit, I like this set a lot. It, it feels a little, uh, it feels a little majestic-y, but I think I like it better than majestic. I, I don't know. I kind of like this sort of. It's almost, it's a little cheesy, but I kind of like this. Uh, I kind of like that sort of graffiti kind of font. You know what I mean? And I also like that it's color on the back, but then black and white on the front. I wish it wasn't a sticker, but can't have everything. But I think it looks all right. Mason Rudolph autograph. Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer, thirty-seven out of ninety-nine. For Michael Gallucci and his Steelers. There you go, steel curtain with uh, with the future of Pittsburgh. Cooper Cup, jumbo relic. You're welcome, Steel Curtain. 
Rams. Leonard with that one. And there you have it, folks. Nice first box. All right, let's set these hits right here for now. All right, let's fly through this here. Got to got to keep this at a reasonable time, ladies and gentlemen. It's easy to get lost just kind of looking at these cards because it looks really great. The next thing you know, this turns into an hour-long break. So we're going to go a little bit faster than we did in the first break, folks, but these cards are nice. Yeah, Josh is saying it's kind of crazy. The price is as cheap as it is because it looks very pretty original. I'm thinking that that with a good response that they're getting right here, that's at a 99. With the good response that I think Panini's probably getting for this, nice Earl Campbell at a 49. We can see this in the future. And I'm sure they'll they'll make some adjustments to the product, and I could see this being a nice product in the years to come. All right, there's Earl Campbell to 49. That goes to the Titans for EA. Out of 25, we got Justin Jackson for the Chargers and Sam Darnold autograph. 49 out of 75. That goes to the New York Jets, Jets, Jets. That'll be for Leonard. Does, is Sam Darnold expected to, to play week one? All right, as I had mentioned before, there are some points. So we'll randomize this as a as a lot. Double O one, the first one, out of two forty nine, Cameron Petaway. Cameron Petaway goes to the Vikings, Minnesota Vikings. That will be for Enmart. All right, just in the interest of time, we'll also top load these later before they ship out. I realize this could be a little bit of a longer break than I thought. Next box. Good luck, boys and girls. Eric Jennings wondering. We were we before we went before we started the recording on this. We were talking about the Shohei Otani Super Fracture that was pulled in 2018 Bowman Baseball recently, and. Uh, and Eric Jennings is wondering, I wonder what the guy's thought was when Otani went on the DL. <laughs> yeah, probably a four-letter word. Thurman Thomas, probably not as much as the guys that paid 10000 plus for his cards. Well, see, I think when you're at the level of spending 10000 plus on a card, when you're at that level, this goes to the bills, of course, I think that's like 100 bucks to us. <laughs> or like 1000 bucks to us, you know what I mean? So I don't think they were super concerned concerned about it. If you're at a point where you can spend ten thousand dollars on a on a card. Uh, there's Jamon Moore for the Packers. It's all relative folks. Deshaun Watson, two out of ten. It's all relative, Vanilla. If we if we were a billionaire, ten thousand dollars for a baseball card would be nothing. And it'd be like if the value change would be like, eh, value change is just like they probably play the stock market. They probably lose millions and win millions all on stock market all the time. Nice to Sean Watson, David. I think if I'm if I'm at the income level, you know where I can where I've got everything I need, and then I could spend ten thousand dollars on a <laughs> on a baseball card. I think I'd 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 be like okay. There's Denzel Ward for the Browns, seventy four out of ninety nine. I might be annoyed, but I'll be like there'll be other rookies. <laughs> 
Cleveland with that one. I like that picture of Deshaun Watson right there, too, by the way. Sorry. David G with that one. But you see the little foil on the four on his jersey? That's a good idea. Cleveland, that goes to EA with the Browns. Then we got Kyle Riley Ferguson. I don't know why I said Kyle Ferguson. 78 out of 249. Vanilla saying, I bet not everyone that spent that big money is rich. Well, then that's, the, that's their mistake. Buccaneers with that one. Philip with the Bucks. I don't know where should I put the should I put the post notes on front? All right, next one. Well, yeah, no one's acting like he's done. I think the short-term value of Otani definitely goes down with him being out. All it takes is a is a is a return. All it takes is like a, you know, next year if he's out for the season, God forbid. But if he's out for until next season, just has another have a hot start, you know, maybe win, maybe win MVP in the next two or three years. His values will go right back up. Oh, nice TJ. Appreciate that. Thanks. I won't turn down swag, TJ. We won't turn down free stuff. Thank you, man. All right. We've got Levon Coleman, 27 out of 75. Levon Coleman, he of course goes to the Texans. Houston with another one. That goes to David G. I wonder if that elbow issue for Otani is not serious enough. Or not as serious as they think after they do all the scans and everything. I wonder if they'll uh, another Texan for David. 44 at 125. I wonder if they'll just have him hit. No word yet. No word yet on whether he needs surgery or not. I think they're going to run the scans this week. You know, just keep him away from baseball activity for a little bit. Let's see what happens. L.A. is definitely buzzing about it, though. They're like, oh, my God, the sky is falling. 24 out of 99, Tony Michelle. Nope, Alvin Kamara, that's Tony Michelle. For the Patriots, 11 out of 99. I, I thought that was a nice pickup by the, by the Pats. That will be for Robert Rincon in New England. Yeah, a little growth hormone. Yeah, pop a little HGH in there. And that'll be fine. I think, are they allowed to use that? Now we've got Fred Taylor. Nice, vintage relic Fred Taylor. Like that sepia tone there. Jaguars, that'll be for Michael M. I think they, uh, I think they fired him up with some stem cells, from what I understand. And I was just like, wait, how do you, how do you, how can you use the stem, the legality on stem cell use? I think is really weird. I can't take, I can't take vanilla gorilla's stem cells, and use them to fix my elbow. That's illegal. I can't take my own stem cells, pop them in a freezer, and use them a day later. That's illegal. But in the same sitting, if I get and the stem cells are ab above your above your butt, I think right, spine, bottom of the spine. If I draw stem cells out in one sitting, if I get stem cells out, and then I pop the stem cells in to like my 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 wrist, let's say I a breaking injury, you know. If I need to recover, that is legal, apparently. That's my understanding of it. Now, other, uh, someone else who might know more about this, pipe up if I got it wrong. But Ryan Izzo, is that Tom Izzo's kid? Out of 299. So that's my understanding of stem, of, of stem cell use in modern medicine today. 
Uh, that goes to the Patriots. Mark Walton. 86 out of 99. Couldn't see it for a second. Everything is legally fine. A doctor? I don't know if that's true, Vanilla Gorilla. I haven't seen this guy's autograph yet. I think we did see a Baker Mayfield, though, in the last case. There's Evan Ingram at a 99. Sign your, have you signed your cards, Evan? Are you watching? Christian Kirk at a nine. I think he did, actually. Someone was saying they started getting their Evan Ingram redemptions. So he must have. Well, thank you, Evan, if that's the case. Christian Kirk goes to the Cardinals. That'll be for Mark Glassman, Boombox. This is for Arizona Cardinals. There you go. Juju Smith-Schuster, nice out of 25. 10 out of 25, that looks cool, Michael Gallucci. I kind of like the base cards here. Looks good, right? I dig that. All right, and there's Jumbo Relic, Stefan Diggs, dig it. All right, next box. Well, ho hopefully he's not watching until after this. <laughs> oh, you uh, you haven't received? Oh, okay, so John John Goss, GCL still needs Evan Ingram to sign the rest of his cards. All right, good luck, everyone. Deontay Burnett, autograph, 176 out of 225. That goes to the Titans. Remember the Titans. We were watching Remember the Titans last night, folks. If you have not seen the Remember the Titans in a while, I would watch it again, just like go and rent it from Blockbuster, right on the corner, every city has a Blockbuster. Go to your Blockbuster and rent it, if they have it available, you can call ahead. There's Deshaun Hamilton, or Deshaun Hamilton, 10 out of, one out of 99, and watch it. It's, uh, it hold, A, it holds up, I haven't seen it in a while. It holds up. It's pretty good. That goes to the Broncos. Yeah, Eric, your, your Blockbuster video. Just just go right there. There's, there's one in your city, I'm sure. Let's go walk right over to the Blockbuster video. Buy overpriced candy. Um, don't forget your Blockbuster card, or they won't, they won't rent anything to you. 88 out of 99. Kenyon Drake. And then search, go up and down the aisles and search for the videos. There's Neheim Heinz, silver ink autograph. He's got a nice auto. What do you mean how many are left? They're, there's, they're everywhere, Eric Jennings, every city. Where else are you going to get movies? I don't know where else you can get movies. Just go to your, go to your blockbuster. Colts for that one. Indiana, Indianapolis. That goes to Ryan Rayner. There's Lights Camara Action, Jumbo Relic. Boombox says, picking up dinner, going to the Blockbuster, or Hollywood, Hollywood Video, right? I forgot about those guys. Was huge in the 90s. That's, that, was a, that was a thing. It was a simpler time back then. 
you know, call call up dad or mom coming home from work and be like, hey, we're hunting. get some pizza, grab that movie. Oh man, selecting videos, that was the tough part, folks. Selecting the movie, because then you had to actually argue in the store, <laughs> in the block. Now these days, uh, you're arguing, you're, you're scrolling through Netflix on your smart TV or whatever, you know, and you're like, you're like, okay, which one do we watch? You're scrolling through stuff and you're like, oh, here's the, you know, you can watch trailers and previews and get all sorts of information. But no, back then you're just looking, it's like, you're just looking at, at, at the cover of the DVD. You're arguing with your, your parents. Oh, there's totally no violence in this one. You know, there's no sex in this one. Come on, we can totally watch, in, you know, Indecent Proposal. Risky business. So you can do that. Mark Andrews. That goes to the Ravens. <laughs> Sam Strayer says, Blockbuster closed in 2013. What are you talking about? They're still open. What are you talking about, Sam? Still around. Still going strong. You can rent all your VHSs there. Talks to the guy behind the counter who's a total movie nerd. They're all there. Arden Key out of 249. The key to which team? The key to... Is it Raiders? Yeah, my Raiders. That's right. Arden Key, key to my Raiders. Maybe. Oakland, that goes to Robert Rincon. And then we've got a nice Cameron Petaway. 22 out of 25 for the Vikings. Nice. That'd be a lot of break money, GCL. GCL's lamenting the fact that he didn't invest in Redbox when when his when his financial advisor told him to. That would have been a lot of break money. Now, Hayden Hurst. Uh, that's a Raven. He's a, I think he's a late first round pick, J Mac, with the Baltimore Ravens. Sean Watson back here is Mike Singletary, Relic. Vintage Relic Mike Singletary for the Bears. Mike McCarthy with the Bears. All right, just five boxes to go. I actually need some more 100s. So let me, let me grab a couple packs of those and we'll keep going. <laughs> At least you... That's funny, John. Hey, I, I like his honesty. I, he, he admits it. He was just like, I thought it was a stupid idea. Who's going to rent movies from a box? Not me. I've never rented movie from a box. A lot of people do, though. I went straight from renting VHSs <laughs> to... I don't think I've ever rented a VHS. Um, <laughs> went straight from renting VHSs directly to streaming. That's where I went. I, I skipped the box phase. I even skipped the, uh, I actually, in reality, I also, I definitely did skip the Netflix DVD sending receiving phase. I skipped that. I was like, forget it. I'll just buy the GD DVD. I don't, I don't have time to mail it back. <laughs> TJ dating himself. He says, I remember renting Beta. We got Max Brown out of 75. Any relation to Jackson Brown, you think? What do you guys think? Max. Oh, Max Brown is a nun. That's right. That's why his name sounded familiar. So 
He'll be randomized, so the name on top on the randomizer will get the Max Brown. The second name will get any and all points. Uh, Matt Hanel saying, in his uh, high school, we had to choose two stocks to buy in our accounting class to learn the ins and outs. Oh, well, as an Astros fan, you bought Enron, and literally a month later, they went, <laughs> they were done. Charlie Joyner, 22 out of 25. Nice one for the Chargers. It's a nice old school guy for J-Mac and the Chargers. There's Sony Michelle again. Autograph for the Pats out of 225. Another one for Robert Rincon. Where do you pick him up in fantasy? That guy's gonna, I mean, I feel like Bill Belichick takes nobodies and then they can rush for like 15 touchdowns and like a thousand yards. So what if they get like an actual competent running back or more than competent young up and coming running back? He can, I think he can catch too. He can be out, he can come out of the backfield while Julian Edelman is licking his wounds from roiding. Julian Edelman. Uh, this year might be the year though. So then can you buy low? Because Trevor Thomas is like, is like, come on, don't take Patriots running backs in fantasy. But maybe is there value there now? Maybe everyone's thinking that. So can you buy low on Sony Michelle? Take a flyer on that guy? And then all of a sudden, whoops. Maybe in a PPR. Julian Edelman out for a little bit. Uh, you know what? I stacked everything in here, but I feel like there was another... There's one more Ravens guy. Maybe, hold on, let me look at the checklist, J-Mac. I feel like, oh, Hayden Hurst. You got a Hayden Hurst autograph. That jogged my memory. That's the, uh, I think that was their, their late first round pick. Pass catching tight end, I believe. For old, for old Joe Flacco, Lamar Jackson, I meant. <laughs> how, many, how many games before Joe Flacco, before they're calling for Lamar Jackson over Joe Flacco? More points, we'll add that to the points pile. And there's Marcel Aitman out of 249. Marcel Aitman goes to my Raiders. That'll be for Oakland. That'll go. To, that's another one for Robert Rincon. Do they still have Rex Burkett and James? I mean, yeah, but I mean, you don't. You don't draft. I mean, the Patriots certainly don't draft a running back in the late first, late first round. Not to not to use him almost immediately, right? There's Kirk Cousins for the Vikings. Still looks weird in a Vikings uni. There's Kike Kute. Draft day autographs, which are on card. I love the way those look. That goes to the Texans. Nice one for David G. Got some nice Texans in this break, David. Julio Jones might have some space on the other side with Calvin Ridley there. There's Joe Theismann Vintage Materials. Redskins, Brandon Thomas on the board. All right, few boxes to go, ladies and gentlemen. Am I on track? What time, would, what time did I say I was gonna start the next break? I'm doing okay, I'm a little over, but I'm okay. All right, good luck everyone, just three boxes to go. And then coming up shortly after this break will be 2018 Bowman Baseball. Then after that will be Finest Baseball. And after that, we're pretty much going to be 
at the end of the broadcast, we'll be, I'll be looking for maybe one or like maybe a couple, two or three short breaks, two or three short one box breaks, or one sort of longer break. First to fill, first to first to uh, fill, first to break, and then whatever gets tied up may just go the following week. So just keep that in mind. Ninety-eight out of two forty-nine. Akram Wadley. He goes to the Titans. Remember the Titans, EA. We are the Titans. Mighty, mighty Titans. Remember that? And there's Pacey. 36 out of 249. Josh Jackson played Pacey in uh, Dawson's Creek. Now he plays football for the Packers. Andrew K with Green Bay. Bradley Chubb to 99. And we got another draft day autograph. And that's going to be an on card auto of Darius Geis. He's a nice autograph. I root for the guys with nice autographs. I want to see them more often in the hobby. I think Darius Geis is a dolphin. A redskin, my bad. Oh, Mike Kosicki is. I'm going to confuse those guys all year long. With a G in their last name. Darius Geis is a redskin, and that'll go to Brandon Thomas. There you go, BT. Brandon Thomas with, with the hail to the redskins. What do we got here? More, more Deshaun Watson? Relic this time. Nice one for the Tehans. David G with the Texans. Nice break there. You got his autograph and you got the relic. Two boxes to go, ladies and gentlemen. Good luck. Well, there you go. Is that a second night in a row with a hit? There you go, Brandon. Brandon's excited. I like that. That fires me up. There's Rogers, Aaron Rogers. There's Joe Mixon to 99. And the famous Jameis Winston. That's a nice, that's a nice patch there. 14 out of 25. That goes to Phillip with the Buccaneers. How many wins does Jameis Winston eat this year? How many W's is he going to eat this year? I feel like this is kind of the season you need Jameis Winston to sort of not break out per se. I feel like he's a good quarterback, but you know, maybe maybe you've got to see some more evolution in him. Wow, nice Adam Thielen out of five. That is a train whistle. And who's that go to? Ed Mart. All aboard. Woo -woo. Nice out of five. That looks pretty cool. Then we got Rashad Penny Gold ink autograph. That auto is gold. Where does Rashad Penny Hardaway go? Seahawks with that one. John H. John H. on the board. There's Dan Marino. I like this insert set too. I like the stars come across there. Dalvin Cook and Mo Hurst. 151 out of 249 for my Raiders. Goes to Robert Rincon and the Raiders. He's the mission guy with the with the heart issues, which made his draft stock fall. But if he's A-OK, -okay, he's supposed to be a possible first round guy. Raiders got him in, in the late rounds, fourth or fifth or something like that. We got Cedric Wilson Jr., Luminance Auto. 
49 out of 249. And Cedric Wilson, the in, Cedric the Entertainer Wilson, goes to the Cowboys. Remember Cedric the Entertainer? What became of that guy, Eric Jennings? All right, there's Leonard Fournette. I don't know what Penny is doing. All right, last box. Good luck, everybody. Good. I, th I think I timed this just right, about where I needed it to be. Good luck, everybody. Got a, got a quick randomizer to do at the end of this, and then we are done and done. Thanks, everybody, for getting into this action. We got one more picker team in the store. If we dig deep, we, we could possibly do that tonight before we break for the weekend, folks. So get into it. There's Austin Allen out of 299. Austin Allen goes to the Buccaneers. So that's another one for Phillip. Jordan Lasley, former Bruin, 30 out of 99. I should remember where he ends up, but I don't. Not Jordan Howard. Jordan Lasley, Ravens, that's right. So another Raven for J-Mac. Nice one for the Purple Birds. You can get a purple post-it note. I don't know if that I don't know if the post-it note ships, J-Mac. But it matches the team. Out of 25, nice Ronnie Harrison. For the Jaguars, that's pretty cool. That goes to Michael M. And, ooh, blue ink autograph. What is that number two? I think Andrew K. was saying that the blues might be very, very short printed. I wanna say possibly train whistle short printed. Because there's the gold, there's the silver, and there's the blue ones right there. So Bradley Chubb for Anderson O and the Denver Broncos. Big Bradley Chubb, big dude. So nice hit for the Denver Broncos. Oppo Joe Mojo. And the last one here. Got Ronnie Lott, Relic. Relic, just a Ronnie Lott vintage relic for the Niners. Jonah on the board late. And there you have it, folks. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Quick randomizer here at the end. So let's go to random.org. Let's get some dice. Let's get the list from Mark down to Brandon. Everyone has a shot. So the name on top, that's the schedule. Did I copy that? There we go. So the name on top after the dice roll will get the, uh, the Max Brown autograph and the second name will get the points. After seven times, two and a five, lucky seven, good luck everybody. One, two, three, four, five, Six and seven, and final time. After seven times, we've got Robert Rincon. You get the bonus auto and Anderson O with the points. Thanks, everybody. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com. That was Luminance. Pick your team two. The next one is in the store. Number three is in the store. jazbeeshobbyland.com. Check it out. Get your teams, and we'll see you next time for that next break. Bye bye.